Hello friends, welcome to C-Sharp Intermediate to Advanced Tutorial. Now you are watching part 2 of the sub-series C-Sharp project settings. So in the previous video, we left our pre preparation halfway. Now we will uh, uh, add the exe project. After that, we will start learning the uh, DLL reference. Okay, we discussed about our EXE project in the previous video. Now we will start developing this uh, EXE exe application okay let's open the previous uh, project So in the solution explorer, we have to set the output path for our uh, uh, DLL. So here I am choosing G drive temp1 as the output location. Our project is in uh, G drive temp. Now I created one more folder temp1 so click here okay this is where we left our project uh, previously now uh, a folder in g partition is created the folder name is gtemp1 let me copy that to clipboard then in solution explorer i am opening the property for our uh, sample math class library project then here we have to click on the build so this tab contains settings related to the build now i am scrolling down and if you see at present it is delivering the output to the relative location of uh, this uh, project if i go for browse it will show that a relative location it's a temp and this is our project location inside bin and debug we deliver the dll so now i'm specifying g temp1 so open so now if i build the project the dll will be delivered to g drive temp1 now let's close this and we will build this once again and if you see here the sample math dll is delivered to g temp1 now we will create our another project so here i'm choosing file new project then i'm choosing windows application So once the project is created, we have to um, design our form. So here is our uh, form design. So the design will take some time. So that's why I kept it uh, offline. Now the form is designed. And if you see here, we have uh, two label control, enter number one and number two. 
then we have two text boxes one is a text number one and another one is named as uh, txt number two then we have uh, get result as command button and we named it as a cmd add Here we have a label control and we named it as a LBL result. So the added result we will show it here. So here is our um, DLL project and if you see DLL project has a class called uh, SMath and it exposes a function. Now if I go here, let me try. So in the using directive, we got an error. So now if you see once I place this statement, we got an error stating that uh, I don't find where is this SMath class. So by looking at the references so you can actually go to the solution explorer and you can look at the references so in the reference we don't find uh, a reference to our dll so before that let's remove it we will rebuild the solution and if you see this is delivering the exe to a different location all right, now we will go to Matthew user uh, properties. So in the Matthew user property, let's go to the build. We know that, so I'm going for browse and choosing G temp one. So this is where we previously delivered our DLL output. Now I am setting the path gtemp1 for this math user also now if i rebuild this solution you can see this is also delivering it to the same location and if i go to that location you can see sample math dot dl that's delivered to one location and math user also delivered to the same location now we can go to our math user then add reference to our dll so i just uh, gone to browse then i'm choosing sample math and if you see here we have project option also there if DLL is developed by the uh, same organization, then we can directly add the project reference. That means here we can go and add the existing project. But here, if you see, um, let's assume that, that DLL is a third party DLL. Uh, it is developed by some other organization. Now, we have the dll here in uh, temp1 so i am choosing that so now we have reference to sample math to this exe and when i come here we can put a uh, using statement using sample math after placing the reference code 
we can actually write this statement and if you can see it identifies the s math and if i build it we won't get any error here next here the smith object is created smith object is from our uh, dll uh, project and if you need you can look at the class view in class view we have sample math and a class and the class exposes a function add two numbers add underscore two underscore numbers so yes math we created and if you see the, the object name here is obj we are making call to obj dot add two numbers you can see that the function which we wrote is exposed here let's rebuild this once again and if you see both are delivered to the same location so if we have math user at some other location say for example g temp2 and if we don't have the dll we will get an error and if you see we get error why because the function is invoked from the dll and the dll doesn't present in this location and if i manually copy it to the required location this time we will succeed we will get the result in again so this is the reason why when we develop the application the time itself we delivered it to the right path so if we double click and open it here we won't see any trouble and at the same time you can run directly from here as well it shows result as 10 I'm choosing new project let's create a new project file new project here I'm choosing other project type and from here i'm choosing visual studio solutions then i'm choosing a blank solution tester okay so now we have a blank blank solution so i'm right clicking here and then choosing add existing project So in the demo, we have two project. One is a sample math. So I'm choosing a C sharp project. So now I'm choosing add existing project math user. So if you see, we have two project. One is a simple math, and another one is a math user and default project is sample math so let's uh, right click and change this as a uh, set as a startup project so let's go to the reference of this one we will delete this uh, sample math then we will add the reference again this time you can use project reference now our solution contains two project for math user we are adding sample math as a reference 
you can see sample math is once again added previously we added sample math as a dll the reference is added through the dll and this time we added the reference as a project so this situation is something like uh, same organization is developing the dll as well as uh, uh, the exe so that's why we kept both under a single uh, solution and we add reference easily here next we can say it project dependencies and if you see it automatically set dependency as sample math this means whenever you build this uh, math user this is exe project right rebuild and you will see that two succeeded that means it built two project first it built sample math because this will produce dll and our math user is depending on sample math so after building uh, sample math it built math user so we asked it to build math user only now let's go here we will ask to build only the uh, sample math okay previously i chose rebuild, rebuild now let's say test this once again first let's go and the clean solution now this time ask i'm asking to build sample math and if you see one succeeded we'll clean the solution this time we will ask to build only the math user and if you see it shows a two succeeded this is because of the dependency let me show that once again here we say it project dependencies sample math one more thing what we have to notice uh, build order if you see here if we ask to build this a tester solution first we have to build uh, our dll then the exe why because this exe depends on the output of sample math dll that's why we kept it first so if you want to change the build order you can change it so we should go to dependencies using this dependency so we can change the build order here math user depends on simple math sample math doesn't depend on math user so that's why we doesn't tick this so build order is automatically decided based on those dependencies All right, uh, that's all here uh, in this video. In the previous part and uh, in this part, in both the part, we created two project. One is a DLL project and another one is a EXE project. We saw how to link to the DLL project using the project uh, setting, I mean the project reference setting. When we talk about project reference, we uh, learned two approaches. In the first approach, we just referred the DLL. This is the case when a DLL is referred by some other third party and you want to use that to your project. In the latter case, we assumed that DLL as well as the project, uh, EXE project, both are developed by the same organization. In that case, you saw how the two projects are kept under a single solution and how we set the uh, reference dependency based on the project itself. After that you saw how to uh, specify the build order uh, and how to set dependencies. We also looked at the uh, project property output path, how uh, all project will deliver to a single location. So this will be useful uh, later when you perform the uh, packaging using uh, install shield or some other build and packaging tool. So when all uh, binaries are in single location, you will no need to go for extra step of creating a staging folder and copying the binaries to your accurate location. All right, uh, that's all here. Uh, thank you for watching. Bye.